Hey everybody, don't mind my uh, my lip there. It just just kind of how things are going, you know. It's uh, closing the door of the minivan and, and it hit my lip. Um, how did that? How does that even happen? Anyway, it's healing now though. Um, I haven't been filming much since we've been here. This is a such a beautiful place, but we were here for Labor Day and this place got packed, absolutely packed. Um, and uh, now everyone is leaving, including my friends. They're all gone. They all headed towards Flagstaff, and I can't go that direction. I mean, I could, but I would have to drive a long ways back to Grand Junction. <laughs> so I need to, to wait around for my, my van to be fixed. I still have the little minivan, which is completely covered in dust because... This road, the road in is just kind of above us here. And uh, I have nice privacy back here, but just dust central. <laughs> Other than that, this is a fantastic spot. And it really isn't normally that busy. It's just because it was the holiday. And uh, also, just starting today, Olive, stay here. Just starting today, uh, we have smoke. We didn't have any before now, not that we noticed. Yeah, just a little while ago, that sun was bright red from all of the, uh, the smoke here. The mountains are starting to disappear. It's sad. I don't know where the fire is either because we don't have internet. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to go back north, and I'm hoping that uh, the fires aren't that direction. But I have a feeling they are because I think that's where they all were. They were... They're all quite a bit north of here. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we don't have a choice but to stick around a while longer. So, But we're going to get on the road. So it actually would be nice to stay here because this was just packed with people just on top of each other and the whole thing. And actually, it's almost empty now. And uh, now they're gone. But uh, yeah, smoke coming in here and uh but the the real issue is that cold weather is coming it's uh tomorrow's supposed to be a high of 50 and a low summer in the like around 20 and 65 percent chance of precipitation which means it's gonna snow up here in this elevation and since we're in a minivan and even if we were in our regular van it's just way too cold not ideal <laughs> so we're gonna head down um, to lower elevation towards Grand Junction uh, because during this cold snap, it's actually going to be quite comfortable there. I think it's only it's, it's going to be in the 60s there. We will just hope and pray that our van is done before the heat returns because then if not, we're going to have to come back up into the mountains again. And it's just, it, honestly, it's just getting old. <laughs> but it's out of my hands, you know. I, I can't control this. And I've been stressing over it for three plus weeks now and um it's not serving me well so i'm putting it out there <laughs> uh it'll be done when it's supposed to be done i guess and just thinking good thoughts and yeah and getting on the road again look at all that smoke you can hardly see the mountains it only took uh took overnight for all that to blow in We're headed up the Red Mountain Pass, which is what I think I called before the uh, the Million Dollar Highway Pass. That's the name of this highway, the Million Dollar Highway, because it was one of the most expensive highways ever to be built, or maybe just Colorado, <laughs> because of the terrain. And uh, it should have really great views, but unfortunately it's pretty smoky, so the views are going to not be as spectacular today but this is quite a crazy pass at least coming from the other direction it's you know, a huge switchbacks going up um and the, i'll still have to go over the switchbacks obviously but i'll be i'll be going down the mountain and also part of the uh the craziness of this pass is that the uh, there's no guardrails and there's a steep drop off not right here but further up steep drop-offs for most of it and uh 
yeah, it's, it's pretty scary. And so at least on, on this way, I'll be on the mountain side of it, not right on the edge. This is where the road starts to get crazy. Look how pretty it is though. So these are the craziest of the switchbacks, the ones right above Ure. So you can't tell, but this these streets around here are very steep. <laughs> so, and there's also, they're also not paved, which is a little surprising, but yeah, most of it's in front of people's houses. And even that is very uneven and steep. So it doesn't look like we're going to spend the night here anywhere, but I think we'll explore a little bit more of the town though. It's got some cool buildings along the main strip. Here they list the age of some of these buildings. 1880, 1877, old. Still pretty busy here, even though the uh, holiday weekend's almost over. So this is a cute little town, but mostly it's just shops and uh, restaurants, bars, saloons, <laughs> you know, the normal stuff. Uh, I didn't see too much else I might be interested in, you know, checking out. Not in the mood for shopping. Uh, there, is, there is a hike or a trailhead that I saw when I was up in this neighborhood. Um, but I think you have to park way down here in the town and then hike up to the trailhead and then you know continue hiking so I think Olive and I might do that yeah why not <laughs> I don't know how far we'll make it it's supposed to lead to a waterfall but I again I have no idea how far it is up the trail so um, maybe we'll do a little research on the internet and then uh, take a look at it this is the Ure library or no it's the the Walsh library and maybe that's what it, yeah, no, not anymore. <laughs> this is the police station. It still says library on the top of the building. Wow, that bell's from 1900. Look at the little tiny mining cars. <laughs> Cute. Look at those fancy houses up on the mountain. And that is the courthouse, or at least it was. I don't know what it is now. So I think I spotted the waterfall. 
from down here. Can you see it there? It's running down the, the mountain right there. Doesn't look like there's a ton of water in it right now, but some. So that it doesn't look very far away. Maybe maybe we'll check it out. But it's always much further than it looks, right? <laughs> so these look awfully old. I thought this was information about the cabin, but no, it's this is Ure in 1889. Wow. Oh, and there's the waterfall we just saw. <laughs> and uh, these are the San Juan Mountains. There's Silverton up there, Durango, Purgatory, which is a ski area. Uh, oh, there's Ure. Telluride. That's a ski area as well. Ooh, Lizard Head Pass, <laughs> right by Trout Lake. Yeah, most of these mountains, these peaks around here are 14,000 and over. A few 13,000, but yeah, wow. Cool area. Oh, and there's Mesa Verde, the, uh, that's a national park now. Or no, maybe it's a national monument. Not sure. I think it's a park. And Shiprock. Cool. Those are right on the... Uh, oh, yeah, there's four corners. Somewhere over here. Where did it go? You can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> four corners. So that's where Arizona and uh, Utah and New Mexico all meet. Right there. Just going to come take a peek at these. They're definitely original. I mean, maybe not 100%. It looks like this has been replaced for sure. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, look at this. Wow, pretty cool. Oh, here's some information, maybe. I'm not even sure what this is. Maybe this is a museum, part of a museum. So this shows that library, uh, there was a fire in 1950, and then they rebuilt it in a completely different style in 1950. Wow. Look at that. And then in 1988, they recreated the original building. Very similar. In 1988. Huh. Oh, and I just realized they're, they're pieces of the original city hall right here. Right below the, uh, the informational signs. Pretty cool. Lots of history here. Oh, here's a little bike that went on the railroad. How neat. It's a mine bicycle. <laughs> cool. A little rusty. So that's about it for the outdoor <laughs> museum portion. Oh, here's something. What is that? Something to do with mining, I'm sure. It's a camp bird stamp pulley. Yeah. A big iron plate. Hmm, something to do with mining. <laughs> I'm not that interested in mining. I'm sorry if you are. Sorry that I didn't read that whole thing, but but it is cool to see all this old mining stuff. I love when they use them as planters. Chief Ure, he was born in New Mexico in 1833. Museum is closed. I think this is the uh, Catholic Church. Yep. Q 
cute little motel, but I don't like when they they chlorinate the mineral water. And I'm sure that's the case. Pretty much always is when it's in a pool like that. This street is crazy steep. <laughs> We're still walking to the trailhead. Woo. Yeah, that's a rough one. But it looks like the waterfall's right up there, so... I think we're almost there. Well, this house is cute other than that greenhouse that makes it look like a 1980s Hardee's or something. <laughs> if I would have known it had a parking lot, I probably would have driven up here. But that was quite a hike up here <laughs> from town, up the side of a mountain. And I can see just a little peak of the waterfall up there. This path is uh, about a quarter mile. It's mostly up. It's a little rugged. And I'm already tired from hiking from town. <laughs> but we're gonna do it. Yep. <laughs> so it's Cascade Creek and Cascade Falls. And on the sign it said that the Cascade Creek goes over seven waterfalls. This one we're about to see is the last of them. The, all the other ones are up on the mountain. And uh, it's Cascade Mountain. And it said it's the main drainage for the mountain. So I was wondering why they built this whole big concrete, whatever you would call these, these things. Um, because to me, it takes me out of nature, you know? It makes me feel like I'm back in the city or something. But the reason why they have this is that, uh, I just read a little thing that said every 10 to 20 years, uh, Ure experiences a massive flooding. And uh, most of the, the downtown area is in the, the path of the floods. And, and it's not just a flood, it's also giant boulders and full grown trees come down this uh, little creek and so they built this to help keep the, the town more safe, to divert the water and the, and the boulders and everything. So this is part of the, uh, the Ure Perimeter Trail, which as you can see, it goes around the entire town. That's pretty cool. If I was here earlier, I would consider it. There's a lot of trails in this area. The Ure Perimeter Trail is only open to hikers. Not even bicycles or horses. So there's like a little viewing area here. But this is, I think, the first peak of the falls. Yeah, there they are. I would imagine they're pretty dramatic when there's a lot of water. It's a little dry right now, even though it did rain a few days ago. Well, it raises a kind of well, Ure is a kind of a fun little town, and if you want a place where you can be near a huge amount of hiking, can't ride your side-by-sides in town, and uh, if you don't want to camp too close to here, <laughs> it's good for a, a visit, you know, like a day visit. For camping, I, I think it's very limited here, so... Yeah, but it, it's neat. It, it, tons of history and tons of charm. And like I said, lots and lots of hiking. And you're very close by. Olive's playing with an apple. <laughs> she thinks it's a ball. I think she's inspired by this, uh, oh, she's inspired by this green carpet grass. <laughs> it looks like, looks like a carpet. She's a crazy girl. Got some crazies? Get the apple. Get the ball. Get the ball. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> she bites into it. It's like too sour. That's funny. <laughs> oh, come on. 